Don't start small, start with what you have. At the start, nothing is new, often not even the idea. The origins of the Greenpeace Foundation illustrates this point really well. Greenpeace changed how we think about the environment, that was their innovation. The founders of Greenpeace got started by trying to stop the United States from testing a nuclear bomb, or with a fishing boat. They got everyone's attention, this was certainly a bold idea. It was also not new. The Golden Rule expedition had tried the exact same thing 10 years earlier and the founders of Greenpeace knew about it. The Golden Rule was the name of the boat another group of people had tried to use to stop the United States from testing nuclear bombs. There are many more examples of innovations born out of repurposing old ideas. Blockchain, the laser, Tesla, Ford's affordable car, biotechnology, all started out as a combination of things that were not new. You can find more about these and others in the first two chapters of my book, Innovating, A Doer's Manifesto, and in the other materials I have shared online. This gives you a new way to think about innovating as reshaping and repurposing old ideas and technologies. In fact, because one technology can lead to many ventures and there are multiple ways to chip at a problem, you do not even need to come up with that great an idea. You can go looking for things that someone else left half finished. Technologies on the shelf or ideas that did not pan out the first time around and start big. This is a bit of a mental shift from how we imagine innovation. We tend to believe that innovations have to start small. That's because the emphasis is on the word new, which everyone associates with unproven. But if all you're going to use is old, this frees you to think about how you start in a different way. You can start big, as big as your current resources allow you to. The reason why I put the emphasis on starting with what you have is to make you realize that you do not need to start small. Of course, I'm not asking you to put your entire fortune into one single project, but I'm inviting you to consider what's the right amount of resources to demonstrate what you want to do. Whether you start from a hunch about a problem like the founders of Greenpeace did, or a well-researched technology coming from a lab or any in-between, repurposing ideas and technologies and starting with what you have is how you chip at the problem. You might still wonder about how to start, when to seek more resources and how much. More on that in the next video.